Hello there and welcome to the first preliminary semi-final for 1979 and the uh, game of course between Parramatta and Cronulla. A good crowd in attendance for what promises to be a very exciting game and viewers will be interested in the progress of the new Brewongal stand. Latest information is that it'll be completed and ready for use by next January. Well, Parramatta have had a fine year. The club finished second to Saints on 32 points, recording 16 wins, 6 losses. Total points 4, 490 against 309. This man, Mick Cronin, has been the most prolific scorer with 13 tries, 95 goals, a tally of 229 points. Cronin was KO'd last week in the Eels clash with East, and we'll find out if there have been any repercussions. Well, I came good about 7 o'clock last Sunday night, Rex, and since then I've had no after effects at all. And uh, is it one of the toughest knocks you've ever taken? Well, it's the first time I've ever been knocked out, but as for the knock itself, I can't remember anything about it. And uh, you don't think it's going to affect you in any way at oh, all? Oh, definitely not. I've had no after effects and I've been good all week. The club did have a rule that players that were knocked unconscious were to miss the following game. Oh, that wasn't actually a club rule. I think that was just a rule to protect players who are probably still a bit crook maybe on the Monday and Tuesday. But as I said, in my case, I've been right ever since last Sunday night. So for Mick Cronin, it's full steam ahead? 100% Rex, yeah. Parramatta are fortunate to have arguably the most informed back row in Sydney Rugby League at present. Captain Ray Price, winner of the Rothmans Medal among many other awards. Jeff Gerrard and his second row partner Lou Platts constitute a power group which can make this match the stepping stone to the first ever grand final win for the Eels. Cronulla coach Norm Proven dropped a bombshell this week by selecting ace centre Steve Rogers as a lock forward. League experts are divided on the announcement's credibility, but there seems little doubt that Rogers will be closer to the engine room. Should uh, he fail to handle a closer acquaintance with the Cauliflower Ear Brigade, the Sharks' chances are going to nosedive. If the move works, Proven will be acclaimed. I'm going to reserve judgment. There's little doubt that Rogers' move has allowed the club to install Greg Mullane, currently in exciting form, into a centre pairing with a vastly improved Chris Gardner. Conversely, the Rogers move has broken a rugby league golden Ollie rule by displacing a form player in Kurt Sorensen who shuffles forward into the second row. A late change through a knee problem is the inclusion of experienced Dave Chamberlain for Steve Edmonds on the wing. Cronulla finished third in the competition. They scored 367 points for, but had the best defensive record of all teams in the league, conceding only 270 points. The next 80 minutes will determine which side plays minor premier Saints in next week's major semi-final. And Ray Price leads out the Parramatta side, and this is the full team. Gary Dowling, Neville Glover, Michael Cronin, Mark Levy, Graham Atkins, Michael Payson, Graham Murray, Ray Price, Lou Platts, Jeff Gerard, Ron Hilditch, Kevin Webb and Bob Jay. And the coach, Terry Fernley. Rogers there, Skipper, this is the full side. Mick Mullane, Rick Burke, Greg Mullane, Chris Gardner, Dave Chamberlain in number five, Gary Cameron, Geg Cox, Steve Rogers, Kurt Sorensen, Steve Neen, Dane Sorensen, John McMartin, Paul Kahn, coach Norm Proven. A veteran, John McMartin, coming to the end of his career, an illustrious one, and a youngster, 24-year-old Kevin Webb, hold the fate of this game in their hands. They're the hookers. Whichever can dominate the set scrum possession will, in my view, lead his team toward a solid win. The referee, Mr. Gary Cook. There's the whistle, the start. Parramatta won the toss. They've elected to take the use of the breeze in the second half. Cronulla will have it. It's about a 25 knot Sudley. Might be a touch of Sal West in it, flying right down the ground from the ramp again. And you'll see as our telecast unfolds the strength of the breeze with the papers blowing around, tons of streamers and coloured crepe paper. And the early part of this game, how will it go? Gerard took the first tackle. All eyes are on Steve Rogers in the opening section of the game. Some pretty heavy stuff coming in already from Kurt Sorensen. There's Levy with a kick. Watch it hang up in the air. Out on the full. Right back. Only just. Chamberlain actually called to uh, Malay and then I think let it go. Good judgment. Now Rogers with his third uh, head in a scrum for the first time in first grade for some time. I'll be bound. Save a penalty, yes, it's a penalty and it'll be against McMartin. In the front row of the Cronulla side for not packing square on. 
And Parramatta will be very happy to uh, play delaying tactics and not that they're delaying things at the moment, but uh, they'll be quite happy for this first half to go. I suggest Cronulla will need something in the order of, uh, well, seven or eight points to feel comfortable. Because Cronin, with this breeze, should be able to kick goals from, well, uh, a fair way out. Just over the halfway line. Webb, Murray, one of the generals in the team. On Hilditch, kangaroo hooker, but now prop forward. He could have been penalised for not facing square on as he played that too. Neen and uh, Patterson having a bit of an altercation there. Price has left it behind. The ball's on the ground. And there was a knock on. Gary Dowling went down pretty courageously on that. Um, or was it Murray? Gary Dowling. Yeah, Dowling. He uh, had the foreboding of a large foot coming at him in the shape of Kurt Sorensen, but uh, didn't deter him. Second scrum, a little bit of a melee there. There's a Cronulla penalty. It's against Parramatta for collapsing the scrum, and they are down, but so is McMartin, but uh, two of the Parramatta front rowers were down there. Referee Cook trying, I think, to establish some psychological uh, supremacy at this stage on the game. Rogers torpedo punt, a very good one. Chamberlain coming to replace Edmonds. Neen, calm. Carr's left it behind. No, nerves early on in the game, and Paramount have come up with it. He snatched it that badly. Ball struck for us, six to go, says the referee. McMartin all over him like the plague there. McMartin again right round the boots. Notice the size of the strapping then on Paul Kahn's uh, left thigh, number 13 for Cronulla. Oh, and a head-high tackle there that uh, could have brought a caution. It has on the run to Paul Kahn. Ray Price. Good tackling right round the waist. Webb, a bad pass. Murray settles play down. Both sides very tentative at the moment. Last tackle. Gerard. Unloaded nicely to Dowling. A metre short of the halfway line. Very vigorous, mistakeful start to this game. Good solid tackle by Steve Neenan, Jeff Gerard then after, as he got rid of the ball, caused him to lose his mouth guard. Well, there's the first scrum win to Parramatta. Murray runs nicely, got to the Patterson panel and makes a good inroad. That's a nice little 15 metre jink. Price, and there's a penalty offside against the Cronulla side. And he's come back towards the blind side, the referee. So this is uh, goal kicking range for Mick Cronin. Now, Cronin's been a, a fund of points for the Parramatta Club since he came down from Gerringong seasons ago. Again this year, 229 points, 95 goals, 13 tries. A valuable, valuable man. He's six metres out from the quarter line. He's about 21 metres in from the sideline. That's the head-on shot. Our backpack cameras on ground level. Kicking into and slightly across the teeth of this breeze. It will curve away to the left, I think. There it goes. Way away. Well, that was a badly struck ball. He hooked it. Burke does manage to get just into the field of play. Greg Malone, the pass away out there. Now, the Cronulla's tactic should be, in my view, to batter their brains out. The kick downfield will make them 45, 50 yards easy. Rogers now putting in the kick, and that's uh, end over end. Dowling will get a fortuitous bounce. He's up over halfway. 
Well tackled. Cameron, the first man underneath. Hilditch. Beautiful tackle there, right round the boots from Paul Kahn. Murray. Gerard cuts out a man nicely to Platts. They swarm upon him. He's been running very freely in the last uh, four matches for Parramatta and indeed one of the form second rounds of the season. Parramatta now grinding out territory. Last tackle. What are the tactics? Is it the bomb? It'll hang up in the air if they put it up. Levy's kick it's charged down. Who's got it? McMartin has it. That's as good as a scrum win. Sorensen away to his brother and driven sideways top class defense Price was one of the tacklers great Cox kicking Oh, that's yards over the sideline a little bit of panic attached to that one now it's touched the player or oh, there's a penalty been awarded Was that for a late tackle Barry? Yes, Ray Price went in and uh, tackled Cox after he kicked the ball and in the opinion of uh, Gary Cook it was late and so the penalty Right, so my eyes were following the ball. I thought it was a bad kick in the sense of uh, going well out over the sideline, but the penalty is accrued, and uh, they get to kick from where the ball bounced. That's uh, going to be a gain of something like 80 metres by the time they run this one out. Along the Cronulla line now. Chris Gardner... Came on the burst, but uh, appeared to slow down to take that tackle. Paul Kahn. They'll be aware that this man is a, a noted ball distributor, particularly with a view to slipping the ball around the pass, the ball around the front of the body of the defender coming to him. There's a pass gone astray. And uh, he's ruled that the ball went forward off a parameter player. Otherwise, he would have allowed Pai to proceed. So, this scrum. 13 metres out from the parameter quarter. And that's a Cronulla penalty. Against Murray for an incorrect feed. I think he got him for a dummy too there on that occasion. Barry Ross is sitting beside... Uh, Greg Pierce, we're going to comment from him in a minute. We'll just see the result of this kick first. Greg Pierce is uh, certainly a man that uh, should have been playing in this match, but his end of uh, season luck is out for the last couple of years. Hopefully, if there's Cronulla. Yes, Greg Cox will be taking the kick now. Cox has been a, uh, a very useful goal kicker for Cronulla. But back to Pierce, he's a player that would unquestionably be in the side. But every time we get around to the final series, he had the misfortune to be sent off last year. And uh, he's out with a hamstring tear at the moment. That's the new Brawongal stand, construction in the background. 13 metres out from the quarter line, 12 metres in from the sideline. Strikes it well, looks all up a goal, it's a goal. So first club to Cronulla. And they've uh, come up with two points through Greg Cox. There's a, there it is, the score. Cronulla 2, Parramatta 0. Khan. Kurt Sorensen's lost the ball. Price has come up with it for Parramatta. That's a great ball to win. Platts. Good head-on tackle there. By Gardner. Hilditch. Murray, long pass out to Patterson. Through the dummy, but didn't go anywhere. Mean was there. Webb running from dummy half. Parameter going straight up the middle. Price from dummy half. Parameter's tactics appear to be to take it fairly close to the ruck. Here's Platts coming across the ruck. The switch of play now. This is one of their favourite moves. Gerard throws it anywhere. It's been picked up nicely on the run by Murray. Half volleyed beautifully, but that's the six. Now, Rogers appears to have recovered. Khan was slow to his feet after that melee. He's in a position now. 2-0 the score. Cronulla's way. Yeah. 
Now that's a scrum win to Cronulla. Cox has it, goes the open side. Earlier games today, Balmain 12 defeated South Sydney 5 in reserve grade. And in uh, under 23s, Eastern Suburbs 5 in a very close stern game. Defeated St George 3. Cameron Court, Parramatta defence, good. They're pinning them in at this stage. In the quarter, Khan, knocked sideways. Hildich the tackler, he's getting through some tackling too. Rogers elects to kick, that's going to go down Dowling's throat, takes it beautifully, just his own side of halfway. Evades McMartin, just slowed him down sufficiently for the other defenders to get there. Gary Cook up. Next to the ruck now. And uh, another Cronulla player down injured at the moment. Is that Steve Noon? Glover. The wing three quarter finds himself close to the ruck and makes it to the quarter line. Murray, the run around. On the burst comes Robert J. On the blind side go Parramatta. Levy showing the ball there. Last tackle coming up, Murray. That one's gone too high, hasn't gone far enough forward to be pressure for the fullback. It's gone anywhere. Who's come up with it? And knock-ons both ways, I fear. Cameron, I thought, had it, but... Uh, must have been a small knock-on. Two nil. Cronulla lead. Steve Neen's still out of this scrum. He's having uh, treatment. Looks like an injured left knee. Well, that's a severe blow. If uh, and there's a penalty to Parramatta, it's against Cronulla for collapsing that scrum. Well and surely within kicking range. Neen limping back now. Apparently hands used in that scrum too, but the scrum certainly collapsed. Neen. Not doing it very easy at the moment in the uh, middle of the Cronulla players there, limping back. There he is. Left leg, uh, still worrying him a trifle, and Rogers, of course, just recovered from a knock on the back. I'm a little bit of a loss to understand Cronulla's tactics on even attempting to uh, play football in their own quarter. doing our usual awards today. The man we judge to be the best player will appear on Sports Action tomorrow. Cronin. Unsuccessful. Cronin, two for uh, two goal, two goal attempts now, but no success. Fifteen minutes gone. Still the score remains. Cronulla, two. Parramatta, nil. One penalty goal to Greg Cox. Dowling. McMartin trying to knock him down with a shoulder charge that the referee indicates. Price. Sorensen met him. Good tackle there from Cameron right round the boots on Gerard. Murray. Dowling. Price. Lovely pass back inside to Glover. Glover's going close. Gets a pass away. Forward pass, no question about it. The pass back in from Price. See it again. Well, we'll hold up on that because we don't want to miss any action here with uh, the scrum. We missed a try last week through my trying to uh, show in the South's uh, Balmain game exactly what happened to a disallowed try. Scrum win to Cronulla. Rogers. Well tackled, right round the boots. Still inside the quarter. Cox. Gardner. Dane Sorensen. Neen running a little bit more freely. Got a pass away to Burke. He's in a touch. 
rather pointless football this Cronulla chain passing across the field just backwards and forwards 18 minutes gone 2-0 the score Cronulla's favor and they've been in their Parramatta have penned them in their quarter for a good eight or nine minutes of that 20 a gale force wins at their a wind at their backs Another scrum win to Parramatta. Barry Ross, uh, a question for uh, Greg Pearce. What were the uh, instructions? Were they to use this breeze? Greg, um, what were the instructions in the dressing room? Should they use the breeze? Uh, I think it's obvious, Barry. Yes, I think they should. You know, it's my opinion, but I think they should be kicking a lot more and a lot earlier. So they for the kicker. So there you are from the captain of the side who is sidelined. The instructions are being ignored by the Cronulla team. I think it's absolutely senseless football the way Cronulla are going about this match. Playing well and surely into Parramatta's hands. The ball should be put downfield hard and early. Still shoveling it out along the three-quarter line. The risk of error in their own quarter, enormous, with a floating ball in this breeze. Rogers, Cox. And still they are inside their quarter. Back it comes, the ball on the ground. Mullane picks it up. And lays nicely to Burke. Burke knows the way to accelerate. It was a good little acceleration, about eight metres. Last tackle. And still passing it along the line. And down goes the error. And again, they're still in their quarter. If this is uh, the way first grade footballers carry out instructions from their coach, I'm amazed. Notice Greg Pierce has moved from beside me. He's gone up to talk to... Uh, Norm Proven, I think that's what he's going to say. Tell him to get that ball in the air. Yeah, well, surely to heavens, it doesn't take a, a clapped-out ex-footballer like myself to notice that you've got to use a breeze when it's uh, at your back with uh, a rate of about 25 knots. This could be a penalty. It's a Parramatta ball and uh, not a bad one. Although the scrum had slewed around, the halfbacks were both still well back. Patterson... for Patterson the little jig steps inside Rogers Rogers to his credit comes from behind and it took that pace of that man to do it now he lands short there and he did lose the ball let's see it from head on no head on shot of that but I think it clearly showed that he did lose the ball and a sad sad blow for uh, for another I feel sorry for Patterson that would have been a magnificent solo try Rex, has the rule been changed this year so that if you lose the ball over the line, it's a five-yard scrum? No, that rule hasn't been changed. Right, Rogers. Dean. Sorensen driven backwards, loses the ball. Parramatta have got it. Patterson again comes up with the dregs. About four metres inside the quarter. Cronulla's end and Parramatta bad passing but Hilditch gets it away nicely. Oh, there's a shocking pass gone and Cronulla are back with the ball. Well, the pundits are going to have plenty to talk about with the uh, errors in this game. McMartin, Sorensen, Rogers evades one. Back inside to Rick Burke. A good, uh, smart run up the middle. Dane Sorensen, Khan, the little kick over the top. Pions is the referee. Graham Atkins comes up with a nice run. And up to the quarter line they come now. Mick Cronin's the man. Big strapping player. Murray, Gerard unloads nicely to Webb. Webb brings it back inside the quarter. They're only about 20 metres out now from the Cronulla line. Price, caught by the jumper. Khan on top of him. Still the score, 2-0. Cronulla's favour. Parramatta have had a try disallowed. And they've made uh, many more breaks than... Uh, or half breaks than the, Par than the Cronulla team. Levy. That kick goes high. 
Well, I'd say there was a, should have been a penalty there. Mullane was running to by Patterson, but Cronulla have come up with the ball, so the referee has played advantage. The error count at this point in time, Cronulla 7, Parramatta 6. That's the number of times each side has conceded the ball back. We've had 22 minutes of play. There's the Cronulla doctor on the sideline with John McMahon, Dr. Peter Maloof. Is it a, a dislocation of some sort? Well, it's a hand injury they're working on, but back to the action with Dowling fielding that kick, and that's the first time Cronulla have been down that end of the field, I'd say, for about 13 or 14 minutes. McMartin has probably had a dislocated finger pulled back in. There's a penalty. Inside the five against Cronulla. There's the strength of the breeze. Cronin, who's uh, got a pretty decent wallop with his boot, could only gain about eight metres with that kick. On the halfway line, they restart. Neville Glover. With that... Uh, he's still going. He's the sort of player that does invite uh, hard uh, tackling because he fights a tackle to the bitter end. That's uh, Jay, rather, lost the ball on the tackle, but uh, it went two-hand. Dr. Maloof uh, just confirmed that uh, McMartin had a finger in the right hand that was dislocated and uh, he put it straight back in and McMartin's out there again. Well, the referee, Gary Cook, was uh, shielding his eyes from the sun then and failed to see, I think, Hilditch dropped the ball on the play of the ball there. He didn't play it. Webb, Murray, Patterson, Gerard swung to the ground. And luckily, he had somebody boiling on the outside of him. Back come Parramatta now, who've looked... A more attacking side, Price with a dummy, having a good game. There's a try under the post, and it's Hildich. No argument about that one. Right underneath the post for Roddy Hildich. A great break by Ray Price. We'll hope to show you the head-on shot as well as the side-on shot, but this is the way it looked from this angle. Now watch, Murray. Price, the little dummy, they stood off. The price from Price back into Hillditch, well, directly in line, the referee ruled. The line with the defence turned him over, but he got the ball down that side. Addressing a remark to my director, are we having trouble with our head-on shot? The kick at goal from Cronin is successful. Parramatta 5, Cronulla 2. Cronin's kick hanging up in the breeze. Cox allows it to bounce, I can't imagine why. McMartin a dummy half, 10 metres inside the Parramatta half. Neen. Back to Dane Sorensen, then to Khan. Cameron, well tackled. Robert Jay took him head on. Cox. Kurt Sorensen underneath a head high, and Cox uh, plenty in that tackle. I think he's lost the ball. Price has stolen it from him. Platts. Murray, Patterson, he's through. On to Dowling, Dowling split them up the middle. Going nicely, running out of support. Throws the ball at the opposition, loses it. Mullane has it. Can't evade the defence. Back it comes to Cox. Uh, to uh, Greg, Greg Mullane. Mullane. Playing at number three. Looks very much like his brother, but uh, hasn't got quite as long a hair. Neen, back inside it comes Sorensen. Cameron. Malayne now. Sorensen slipped and fell. It's Dane, uh, Kurt playing in number nine. Penalty. Touch judge in as well, but the referee had seen the incident. Glover, the man, going to be spoken to. I see uh, 
performed on Sorensen's face in the tackle a little, perhaps. Silly place to do it. Say it again. There it is, a bit of a facelift. Nothing harmful. The kick, 10 metres, parameter side of halfway. Nine minutes to go. Cronulla not looking like a, uh, a winner at this stage. Early days. Kurt Sorensen, bust them. Chamberlain, Neen, the run around. Chamberlain ending up with the ball. Another penalty has to be. Well and truly inside the five there with Parramatta. Greg Cox will uh, have a simple kick from in front about uh, 30 metres out. That breeze uh, still exactly the same consistency, Barry? Yes, it's quite strong. And cold? Very cold, but Mick Clown will certainly take advantage of this and others in the second half. A source of absolute wonderment to me why Cronulla players would want to battle their hearts out in their own quarter without getting a relieving kick downfield as they could have done on 20 or 30 occasions in the first half. Here's the kick. Second attempted goal by Greg Cox. Struck that well. It's a goal. So then, the score with uh, about seven minutes to go to half time. Parramatta five, Cronulla four. Took that well, low and well, outside the quarter. It's the second tackle, in my view. They shouldn't be kicking on this one. They're not going to. Rogers is placed to take a pass from dummy half. He'll kick. Looking for the bounce, it's not going to find touch. Atkins has it, Burke has Atkins, and a good tackle, good chasing. <laughs> Parramatta now having, and there's a penalty. Now they're inside the five, and that really is a bit senseless, that sort of football by Cronulla. They had about seven or eight Parramatta players behind them then, still coming back on side, and they still infringe the five. Cronin's kick, a good safe kick into the breeze. Flats up the blind side. Nice good inroads. That's a good run actually, about 18 metres he, uh, he made. Webb, Murray, Glover. Murray, Patterson, and Je Jeff Gerard. Patterson had a fine game, this young man. Got a pass away late, out to Levy, Levy to Atkins. Murray, Gerard, well taken Cronin, off the boot tops, looking for support, Platts has it, is out the price, running wide. Then to Glover, Glover half through the tackle, then over the sideline. And Mullane, uh, Chamberlain taking a bit of umbrage there with uh, Glover. They're marking each other as wingers. A little bit of an altercation started, but uh, good football from Mick Cronin on that occasion. Scrums are three all, the penalties are five all. Can't have it easier than that, or more even than that. 
Hookers having a bit of difficulty getting their uh, heads in there. One wonders why they'd want to put their head in a scrum like that. A little bit of dialogue there in the background in the heat of the moment. Rogers at dummy half. Cameron. Neen. Out she goes. Gardner. Much improved young centre, this fella. Burke at dummy half. Cox, Neen, Khan, Rogers, away to Malone, running well, one-handed pass, it's gone to ground, Sorensen spilled it. One of the rare occasions that Cronulla looked like stringing together a bit of chain passing. We've got about three minutes to half time, one point in it, Parramatta lead, 5-4. Another scrum win to Cronulla. Chamberlain coming the double around there. Malone, the fullback, came close. And Chamberlain was the second man around. He got the ball. Greg Malone. Cox. Gardner. Top tackle there. Levy was the uh, perpetrator of it. Greg Malone. Rick Burke injecting himself from the left wing. Gets it back to Malone. Then on to uh, Cameron. Fine tackle. And who else? Of course, Ray Price. Rogers, McMartin, Khan, Neen, on the halfway line. About two and a half minutes to half time. McMartin, Khan, Rogers. Oh, Malone left it behind. Gardner's got into the semi clear and loaded nicely to Cox. Cox looking for support. Got it away to Rogers. Rogers on the back up. Slips, goes to the ground, gets the pass away. It's gone to ground now. And again, Cronulla, over eagerness. Good opportunity to carry play very close to the Parramatta line. The error situation at this point in time, Parramatta 9, Cronulla 9. The score, Parramatta 5, Cronulla 4. The scrums are 5 to 3 in favour of the uh, Cronulla side. McMartin has won the last two. The penalties have gone 6-5 in Parramatta's favour. The scorer of the only try to date has been Ron Hilditch for the Parramatta side, and Mick Cronin has kicked one goal from three attempts. For the Cronulla side, two penalty goals to Greg Cox from two attempts. They're the statistics. Ten metres from halfway. Breeze still just as strong. Referee Gary Cook is uh, penalised on a number of occasions for inside the five. Price evades one tackle. Back to Gerard. And to the halfway comes Murray. Gerard. Fullback Dowling. Swung around the tackle but not put down. Still going. Made about eight metres diagonally. And a penalty. McMartin making a meal of getting off him. Of course, he may have been held. That's one of the goes these days. And that's the uh, hooter for half time. The tactics will be to kick for touch and probably put a high up and under. Cronin's kick. Now, let's see what it is. Yes, it's Levy with a high bomb. And blimey, it is a high one. It'll bring snow. It's bounced, nobody wanted it. The ball on the loose. Who's got it? Knock-on, says the referee. So a rather shabby end to the game with knock-ons all around. And they go into half-time. And I would suggest a little bit of abuse in the shape of uh, Norm Proben's tongue for the Cronulla side with a scoreline that reads Parramatta 5, Cronulla 4. And we'll be back with all the action of the second half of Sevens Big League in just a moment. Underway for the second half. This uh, very important fixture between Cronulla and Parramatta. Parramatta leading at this stage five to four. 
Cronulla will do the chasing in this half, I feel, with Parramatta being the kickers, taking advantage of this strong breeze. No changes on either side, Barry Ross. No, no. And what was the comment in the dressing rooms, respectively? Well, you were pretty right with what you said. Parramatta coach Terry Fernley said to use this win, he's going to use it, and uh, he wanted uh, a lot of work putting his scrum in the second half, a bit more tightening up of it. And Norm Proven said the same thing. He wanted the Cronulla scrum tightened up, and he was particularly concerned that the forwards weren't moving up together in defence. And he did stress to the boys that they could still win the game if they kept their cool. Well, we noticed there on that occasion, Rogers is out among the backs. So we'll have a look at the next scrum to see whether Rogers has been taken away from lock forward. But certainly on that occasion, he was out among the three quarters. Rick Malone unable to get the pass away. A good tackle there from... Uh, Hillich, who's got through uh, a deal of uh, defence with this parameter side and scored their try. Showed a clean pair of heels to do it. No, Rogers is standing out as a first 5-8 at the moment, or fly half as they're known in England. That's a penalty to Cronulla. It's against Webb for down in the scrum, and indeed he was. Now, let's see whether... Cronulla come up with some answers in this uh, face of this breeze. I'm sure Parramatta will have an answer. Martin, Neen, Khan, Neen, Sorensen. That's Dane, play, uh, Kurt playing in number nine. McMartin, now Rogers. To short of the halfway line, almost midfield. Again on the blind side, Khan. Dane Sorensen to his brother. Driven back in a first class tackle from Graham Atkins. Just a little fella, but he did very well on that occasion. Khan, Cameron, Gardner, floating pass out to Malone, Greg. Trying to use his footwork, but Levy was equal to the defensive task. Cox, Dane Sorensen spills it, and a knock off. The first half scrums went 5-3 to Cronulla, the penalties went 7-5 to, to the Parramatta side. Another scrum went to Cronulla by the look of it. Well, Cox got it. But he certainly got the, uh, the tackle of Price at the same time. Cameron slips as he tries to use that good step of his. 12 metres outside their quarter. 5-4, Parramatta's way. Paul Khan. Nicely to Burke. Ten metres from halfway. Paul Khan steps. About three metres short of the halfway line. Last tackle. Now what are Cronulla's tactics into the breeze? To spin it. Rogers. Alone. And again, good. Solid. Low Parramatta defence. Martin uh, starting to assert some sort of superiority in the scrums at the moment. A 6-3 in his favour. And that's a Cronulla ball. Oh, that's a Parramatta ball with uh, Murray tackled straight away by Cox. Price. Blatz. Hildich. Hillich had a top game. Now the crowd really starting to get behind Parramatta. On the blind side they come. Gerard floats a long one out to Atkins. He's well tackled by Burke. Right round the boots. Dowling from dummy half. Rusted one tackle. Inside the uh, quarter well. Webb runs from dummy half. And that's the six. Good safe percentage football by Parramatta. Spectacular about it, but uh, 
They retained the ball and made about 30 metres. Very important scrum now. And it's apparently a ball again. Two in a row to Young Webb. Price. Dowling. Through the dummy and very nearly got through. He's a try. He's got it down one hand. It's a try to Lou Platts. He went very, very close, hung over it, and then reached down with his arm. I saw Norm Proven score a try like that at a match years ago. Let's see it again. He went from dummy half. Now watch him reach down. The strength. Well. There it was. They pushed him back straight away, but the referee has judged. Let's see it from head on, and we can get a closer view of that. Yes, no doubt about it. It didn't bounce. And that's a killing try for the Parramatta side at this point. Plax in from dummy half. Kick at goal by Crater. Fourth kick at goal. One success. Two tries to nil, the score. Crater. He squirted that away, away to the right. And uh, not a great kick at all. So the score remains Parramatta 8, Cronulla 4. That's going to be a penalty. Extremely bad football. Kick well short at the breeze. Caught to it, of course, but uh, really a rather senseless kick at Crane and will take the attempt from goal from halfway. Now, to do this, he's got to be confident that he, if uh, he does miss it, he's at least going to kick it dead. So it's a 60-metre carry. Two tries to nil is a fair measure, I think, of Parramatta's superiority in this game. Still with uh, 32 minutes to go. Cronin. They've let it go dead. No goal. As it was, the score 8 4, Parramatta's way. Earlier game results again under 23s, Eastern Suburbs 5, St George 3, Balmain in the reserve grade 12, defeating South Sydney 5. Down. Webb, Platts. Going to playing it very close to the ruck. Murray to Price. Changes direction. Means there. Still got to pass away to Murray. Out to Glover. Heavily tackled, but making forward progress. Gerard. Almost to the quarter line. Parramatta on the move. Patterson. Switches it back to Price. Price has found a gap right through the middle. He'll go on and score. Now, what 
Alex Patterson, the switch of direction, totally brought the Corolla defence undone. At that point, Price came inside McMartin, evaded Khan, saw the line, split it away, Cox went with him, and that was the ball game there. 11-4. from two metres outside the quarter line. He's only about three metres in from the sideline. Sixth attempt at goal. He's only been successful with one to date. Otherwise, the score would be some sort of an embarrassment. Unsuccessful again. Comedy of errors. Rogers. Cameron, Mick Malone, uh, Greg Malone to Mick Malone, and in he uh, comes into the back line. Penalty, failing to allow the tackle player to get to his feet. The penalty is now 9-8 in Parramatta's favours. The scrum 7 all. 23 minutes of this second half gone. Rogers. Up to the quarter line. Khan. Swivels, goes in his own. Took a bit of pulling down there. About 15 metres away. Six to go. Rogers, Cameron, Sorensen knocks the ball straight ahead. The line falls on it, and that's good football from him to ensure the scrum. But uh, Sorensen really uh, didn't seem to get a hand of that ball. It hit him on the chest and went straight forward. Another scrum win to Cronulla. The line standing out wide on the blind side. Cameron. Dane Sorensen, Mean, Gardner, Greg Malone. Dane Sorensen, overhead pass. Rogers flicks it back inside to Cameron. He's tackled straight away on the quarter line. McMartin runs from dummy half. Dane Sorensen loses the ball. He's had a very ordinary game. He's handling. It's been very marginal. Dowling. Parramatta now with a sensible, sensible kick. It's not a great one there for position, but it got the play away from their quarter. And it's a lot harder to make a break from your own quarter than from the other team's quarter. That's the principle they're working on. Parramatta have a, a back warming up. Uh, Eddie Flay. Egg, from... A good player. Can you see a sign of an injury out there? No, well, I just spoke to the bench and they said there's no one crook at the moment. Maybe it's a precaution. Um, a very, very cold day here. He's getting him warmed up very well in, in advance, perhaps. Rogers, Khan. Greg Malone. Eleven four. Paramount lead. Dane Sorensen. Back into Kurt Sorensen. Last tackle. Greg Cox. Invited one. And that's the six.
on sports action tomorrow we've got uh, john mcmartin the uh Cronulla hooker and terry fernley the parameter coach that's 11 through one in controversy corner with all the highlights of this game and the scrum win it's a penalty to Cronulla. what's the signal incorrect feed by murray Rogers will kick for touch on the uh, hillside. Now Cronulla running out of time to get back into this game. 13 minutes to go. Big deficit. Cameron, Gardner, Malayan injects himself but loses ground. Defensive Patterson there, excellent. Rather futile punch thrown from the ground by Malayan. Neen. Martin, Rogers, Khan. Had a man on the inside, but a parameter defender got between he, Khan, and that man. On the blind side, Cox. Rogers. Oh! Very nearly slipped the tackle there. Glover was the man that tackled him. Rogers was the, uh, the man who was on the move. Gardner. Crowd setting up a quite a roar. Last tackle coming up. Cox, the high kick is not a bad one. Pressure for Dowling. Taken by who? Ray Price. Dowling runs from dummy half and makes a good gain about uh, 16 metres up to the quarter line. Atkins. Good run, Cronin. 13 metres outside the quarter. Across they come, Murray. Hillich. Strong, capable front rower now that he's out of the hooking uh, line of work. Webb didn't look at that pass, but he's got it to Price, and Price has gapped them. Looks to support, Murray's there. Back inside nicely to Glover. Really good. involved with this web pass the ball without looking to price price the dummy selectively to murray glover loomed on the outside on the inside took it then went outside having evaded his uh, own man up the sideline and that winger who loves to score a try almost as much as tom mooney put it down wide out from head on this way the in pass the change of direction from glover As our head-on shot giving a little bit of trouble as the defender Malign comes to him. But this has been a humiliating defeat of Cronulla by the Parramatta side. 14 to 4. Four tries to one. Four tries to nil. You consider that Cronin's having his eighth attempted goal, and he's only kicked one goal. The score could have been anything. And again, it's day off, but these are the days coaches and goal kickers don't mind having off when the team is scoring tries, and they've scored four good ones. Terry Fernley, I think you're entitled to smile at the moment. Barry Ross, is uh, any sign of a change in either side? No, uh, Clay was warming up, as I said, but he's sat down on the bench again now. Ray Price, again, taking the ball from the kickoff. Had a top game, scored a try, been involved in another one. Glover.
about eight and a half minutes to go and Cronulla are well beaten side. Murray, a little general. A little arty as they call him up there in uh, Eels territory. Hilditch. Solid. At times, unspectacular football from Parramatta, but very much to a concerted plan. They've driven hard and strong from dummy half. They've kicked on occasions when the pressure has been on them. They've switched the play across the ruck a number of times in set-piece moves. And all their players have done a, uh, a massive tackle job. And I reckon the bookies are going to shorten them down even more for the uh, grand final favouritism. Somebody off. What, two? Paul Kahn being sent from the field. Sorensen's walking away too, but I don't think he's been set off. It's only Paul Kahn, and it was for a punch, I feel. It was on the far side of the scrum. And is it Webb being treated, Barry Ross? I can't tell who's on the ground. All right, let's maybe see it again. Murray. Graham Murray, I think it is. Let's see it again. And maybe if our head-on shot might show something, but uh, let's see from side on. There's Khan standing up. If he's thrown a punch or kicked, is it? I can't see from uh, here. But whatever's happened, now the head-on shot. Definitely Graham Murray on the ground. OK, let's see the head-on shot now. Number 13, keep your eyes on him, Paul Kahn. Murray balking a little bit and he strikes for the ball and the referee has judged that to be a deliberate kick to Murray. And uh, Proven looking as grim as he could possibly look. Cronulla playing a man short. I would think the charge would be kicking. And here's a change in the Cronulla side now, perhaps uh, Gary Stairs warming up. Kurt Sorensen uh, really uh, putting in a solid tackle on Cronin there. I think that the horse has bolted. And uh, Rogers would do well to calm his players at the moment. They've lost one, and that will, uh, without uh, prejudicing uh, Paul Kahn, it's, it's going to be highly unlikely that... Uh, well, I better not go on with that as the matter of sub juice, but he's still a sub -judice. He still has to appear before the judiciary. Last tackle. Webb. Murray. Nicely passed to Cronin. Cronin, one arm free. Got it nicely to Gerard. On to Webb, the little hooker. And they're playing top football. Touchdown, Jim. Kurt Torrenton this time. Will be caution that well. Kurt Sorensen being called over by the referee and touch judge. Murray being treated in the back play. We're on the five minute mark. The score 14 to 4. Parameters way, and they've done it relatively easy against a most disappointing Cronulla side. Four tries and one goal. Barometer yeah. now. Looking to get in the dying moments another score. Platts. Gerard, who's been plugging up the middle there and finding gaps. Cronin's in! See it again, and the big strong one arm of Cronin went out and put it down easy. Watch Gerard, picks the gap, runs between them, gets his arms free. Cronin, watch him put the ball down one handed. There it is. And the humiliating defeat now coming up for this Cronulla side that's been such a good side all the year. No doubt about it. Or perhaps. Mick Cronin will have better luck 
No, he's not going to have any luck with this at all because he's off. But Mark Levy is on. One from eight. Mick Cronin, I dare say he's not had such a bad day as a goal kicker in all his time with Parramatta. Barry Ross, have you got any statistics on that? I'm sorry, Rex, I missed the question. Cronin's bad form in the goal kicking department. Has he ever had such a bad day? In oh, your I memory? can't recall him pick like that. He's picked one now. Well, Levy's kicked that goal. And uh, the score then goes to 19 4. Rex, I uh, missed that question. I was moving up here with Terry Fernley. I'm sitting beside him now, and uh, I was just asking Terry about this magnificent effort by Parramatta today. Terry, the defence particularly. Yeah, I've been very pleased, Barry. Yeah, we've wanted to win badly, and they uh, knew we had to stop Cronulla from spinning the ball, so they've done very well. Ray Price down injured at the moment. Again, taking the ball from the kickoff, as he's done nearly all day long. I don't think anything illegal in that... Uh, knock that he's taken a number of fine players in this uh, parameter side today and almost none that you could uh, say has done anything exceptional for uh, Cronulla and a very flat performance Terry Fernley would be happy still not smiling but uh, I would suggest he's a pretty elated man the way his team has fired today five tries and the goal kickers They've only managed two from nine. Levy, one from one. Cronin, one from eight. The score could have been, my oh heavens, it could have been anything. It could have been 30 points to four. It's one thing we are forgetting about Mick Cronin. Uh, Rex is that he's knocked out pretty heavily last Sunday, and Terry Finley just brought that point up. That yes, that's a valid point, but in that event, he shouldn't have been kicking in the first place. And well, Terry just mentioned that, that perhaps he shouldn't have played Mick, but Mick wanted to play so much, and... Oh, I think Cronin's had a top game in uh, general play. I was just curious. He's such a great goal kicker normally that I would suggest that he's not had such a marginal day before. Well, that's the that was feeling. the query. Yes, that's the general feeling here on the Paramount bench too, that no one can remember such a bad day. He's missed one or two and maybe vital kicks in the past, but uh, not as bad as that. No, his general play has been top class. Look at the things they're doing now. Well, that was a bad flick from uh, Cronin, but uh, nonetheless... Uh, Parramatta playing with confidence supreme at the moment. Let's run through the statistics of the match. The scrums have finished absolutely level at this point. Eight all. The penalties are nine all. A line ball in possession. Now the error situation. Parramatta 15. Cronulla 14. You couldn't get it any closer there. The uh, scorers for the Parramatta side have been Hilditch, Platts, Price, Cronin and Glover. A goal each to Cronin and Levy. The solitary scorer for the Cronulla team has been Greg Cox with two penalty goals from two attempts. 19-4. We think perhaps a minute to go without being official in time. Dowling. Platts plugs it from dummy half again. Up on the quarter line. Murray. Webb. Gerard. Beautiful pass to Platts. He's hit for number two. The carpet runner. This is a massacre. This is like Rock's drift. They've killed the white man. Watch the lovely little moves they put on this Parramatta side around the ruck. And Webb well and truly involved in that. Gerard. And Platts, all oh, striding strongly. The desperate tackle there, coming in late, just managed to trip him from head on this way. A lovely reverse pass from Webb. What's the way Gerard shrugs his shoulders free. Platts, who I thought was going to run out of the ground there, he was going so fast, scores adjacent to the post. And Levy will have another easy kick at goal. Twenty two points to four. Who'd have believed it? Easy. Twenty four points to four. 
a Parramatta's price shortens even, even as we talk. It's the second time this year and quite recent the other time too that Luke Butts has picked up two tries. Scored uh, two tries against Manly two or three weeks ago. Yes, he did. Certainly in great form. And again, they come up with the ball from a kickoff. They've done that all day long. The Hooters going to go any second. Yes, the uh, official I think table. The, uh, the official table here is trainer's the gone on to tell them. So with a rather anticlimactic finish, the trainer runs on to tell the referee the time is up. The Hooter wouldn't go. So there it is, a massive, devastating, if you're a Corella fan, appalling score.